There we are. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the second episode of our science technology series. I am Dr. Vanessa Beasy, and I'm the scientific director of the Wildlife Conservation Association here in Nosara, Costa Rica. Today, I will be doing a show and tell presentation of an underwater drone. Uh, we just received this drone through the Science Exploration Education Initiative with National Geographic. Uh, so far, Ocean has donated a Trident drone uh, that we'll soon be using to do research on sea turtles um, underwater here at the Ostinal National Wildlife Refuge. Um, this is really exciting uh, because these remotely operated vehicles, or ROVs as scientists call them, uh, used to be prohibitively expensive, um, very expensive and also most of them very large. So it was a very limiting for science, scientists to get access to this technology. Um, but essentially what so far has done is created a compact, affordable drone that is much easier for scientists to get access to. So we're really excited for the opportunity to take this drone out and um, learn more about our oceans as a part of this amazing initiative to explore our oceans. Um, really quickly, I'm going to uh, check in to see if we have some people watching, see if there are any questions. You can post questions throughout the presentation um, and I will answer at the end. Um, for those of us that are joining, um, I am, we have all of the permits to do this research, uh, but unfortunately our dates were planned for March and we've had to obviously postpone our research. So I actually have not taken the drone out yet, but we're hoping to test it out in a saltwater pool. Um, scientists have to use all kinds of different technology uh, depending on the research they do. Um, so I'm excited to share this with you so you can see what it's like. Basically, uh, we have to raise a lot of money to uh, forward these, these types of technology. And when you finally get it in the mail and open the package, just like you would if you got a new video game, you have to learn how to use the technology that you're going to use. So the first thing, the first step is to take your manual and learn all about the technology that you're going to use. Um, how does it work? What are some troubleshooting tips? Uh, you really have to be prepared because once you take this out into the field, you have to make sure that you are not putting yourself or anyone else's safety at risk and make sure that you get the information that you need. Um, so the first thing that I do when I opened it was look at all of the uh, all, any informational tutorial videos, read all about what you're about to do. Then I finally opened the box and look at everything we have. So this right here is the drone itself. It's relatively lightweight and compact. And it has a lot of different components that are really important. The first thing is that it has this hard case that's waterproof. In the front, there is a camera and some lights. Once we get deep in the ocean, we won't be able to see very well. So the lights will help get a better picture of what we're seeing. On the bottom here, there are special weights. So when this drone is in seawater, it floats a little differently. So here we add weights so that it's uh, negatively buoyant, they say. That means it's able to kind of go down without being all wobbly. Uh, the other thing that the drone has is three motors. So there are two in the back here, and these propel it forward. And then there's one in the middle, and this one will allow us to go up and down. So with all of this, the drone can actually go as fast as Michael Phelps, which is impressive. Um, and it's very maneuverable, so that way we can get into small areas and deep where most divers wouldn't be able to go safely. Um, the other feature that I want to point out is where everything connects. So this is a connection point for us to connect to a long wire that is basically our power source for the drone. Um, and when the drone is ready to go and connected, we can just essentially drop it straight into the water and start exploring. The next thing I wanted to show you is this cable. So this is a very important cable. This is the cable that connects the drone to the receiver that's up on the boat where I can maneuver the drone or kind of move it around with the controller. So this is the connection that goes on that part of the drone and it connects here. And this is kind of like a little Wi-Fi signal that allows us to wirely, wirelessly communicate with the controller. 
because we want to go really deep and follow turtles around to see what they're doing, we also have, sorry, we also have this big coil. This is 100 meters of line. So that means our drone will be able to go up to 100 meters below the surface, which is much deeper than most divers usually go. So this is another huge advantage to um, using this technology. Next, we have this super cool controller. It's basically like a PlayStation controller. Um, and just like you would use to play video games, there's little buttons that allow you to maneuver the drone, turn on different functions, and move the camera around. Um, you'll notice that there's a bunch of little sticky notes on here. What I tend to do when I'm preparing for research, especially when I'm using new technology, is I will label everything so that I, it helps me learn and make sure that I don't make any silly mistakes on my first trial run. Eventually, when you get really used to using it, just like you would once you get used to playing with a, ga a game, uh, you can remove these and you won't really need them. Everything will be a little bit um, more straightforward for you once you've tried and practiced. Um, and right here, this screen will show a live view of what's going on underwater. So we'll be able to see in real time what the drone sees and make recordings of all of this to get videos of turtles, of underwater life, of any interactions, different biodiversity that we can then analyze later. Before I get to that, I wanted to share with you a video of a turtle and this was taken actually with a handheld camera. One of the biggest challenges to observing sea turtles is that, first of all, they can dive. They can hold their breath for very long. And if you follow a turtle around, you're not going to be able to hold your breath or outcompete the turtle. Um, but when you're in the water trying to observe a turtle, you also have an influence on the way that turtle behaves. So I wanted to share this video um, that I took of a turtle in the water when I was doing research, you'll notice that my presence definitely impacts the turtle. Um, from very far away, she saw me before I even saw her and started swimming straight towards me. These turtles here in Ostinal are really curious. And so just my presence in the water obviously changes the way that she behaves. And that's not ideal because we don't know what this turtle would act like without me in the water. So we're hoping that having this underwater drone will decrease that a little bit. I'm sure the turtles will be curious, but hopefully they won't um, change their behavior as much as if I was in the water watching them. Um, so we're really excited because you can see from this video, we're obviously going to be able to get some really amazing footage of turtles. But this is more than just getting pretty picture, videos and pictures of turtles. What do we do then with all of this footage and all of these videos? Well, basically, when I get home, we're gonna have lots and lots of information on these videos. We'll save those on a hard drive, and then I use a special software that allows me to watch the video and tag anything that I see. So kind of like you would tag someone on Facebook, I can tag the video and say, okay, the turtle just saw another turtle. Uh, the turtle just ate this piece of this type of fish. Um, I'll be able to label the video and then we can take that and analyze, well, how long is the turtle diving? What is the turtle doing? And this is going to really help us understand overall what turtle behavior is like. Now, this is a new type of technology for me because we used to use something called a turtle cam, which I will be showing on another show and tell. Um, but this required us to catch the turtle to get the camera on the turtle and then to find the turtle, like the, the camera again later. So having this underwater drone is going to be really life changing for us because now we can just stick the drone in the water and follow different turtles. We'll probably be able to get a lot more information this way um, and have a lot less impact on the turtle as well, have less stress and hopefully also be able to explore all kinds of other things. We have shipwrecks here offshore. We have amazing biodiversity. So we're really excited to start exploring our oceans and um, see what, what's out there and, and report it back to the public. Um, I'm going to check if there are any questions. I see we don't have a lot of people joining us today, uh, but if you have any questions later, if you watch the, the video that we post, feel free to post. Um, I am hoping to have footage for you someday in the near future as soon as we can get out into the ocean. So make sure that you follow us um, on Facebook if you want to uh, get a sneak peek at some of that footage. I'm sure we'll be sh showing it on social media. I'm going to double check to see if there are any questions. Um, I realize this is short too, so some people might be joining us right now. 
Um, so feel free to ask if you want to see anything else with the drone. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Um, so if you haven't joined us before, we also have a Sea Turtle Science series on Tuesdays and Thursdays at noon. Uh, be sure to follow us again on Facebook and you'll see announcements for that. Um, and then next Saturday we will have another show and tell. Um, I actually now don't remember which one is next Saturday, but we have that up on our Facebook. So check in with us again and I hope, you, hope that you're enjoying the show and tell of different technology. And with that, I guess we'll end the Facebook Live. Have a nice weekend.